As always, celebrities and VIPs visited Cincinnati. Rocket expert Werner von Braun stopped briefly, talked at an engineer's convention, dodged questions on our missile program. Milton Eisenhower, the president's brother, came, said he never discussed questions about hype. Kentucky's governor, Happy Chandler, was here several times, most frequently during baseball season. Senator John Kennedy breathed in, spent a hard day politicking in his drive for the presidency. The Ohio legislature adjourned. Governor Mike DeSalle left his desk for the first time in many months. Colonel Pappy Boynton, here to plug a book, said he was really not a war hero, just a rascal. Another Air Force ace, Captain Eddie Rickenbacker, was here on business for his Eastern Airlines. The J.C. Penney store had a visitor, the founder of the nationwide chain, octogenarian J.C. Penney himself. Poet scholar Mark Van Doren visited, little knowing the yet-to-come TV quiz scandals would involve son Charles. The four, or uh, three stooges, came to Coney Island as they won the hearts of a new generation. Comedian Ed Wynn said he wasn't washed up, proved it with a successful year on the stage. Christine Jorgensen of Denmark fame packed them in at a night spot where she sang. It was homecoming for Doris Day. Here, Inquirer critic E.B. Radcliffe gets the story. Former UC student Hugh O'Brien, TV's Wyatt Earp, rode a horse in the homecoming parade. Actress Diana Barrymore said her much-publicized past was just that, looked soberly to the future. The Alby had live stage shows once again, brought in Pearl Bailey and her troupe. And the Xavier Cougats came to our Queen City, but Mrs. Cougat, Abby Lane, got all the attention from male reporters, and no wonder.